Hello, I'm Linda. I'm going to read It's Too Noisy by Joanna Cole. Once there was a little house. Do you know who lived there? A poor farmer lived in that little house with his wife a grandmother, a grandfather, lots of children, and a little bitty baby in a crib. Day and night, there was always a lot of yelling, singing, snoring, laughing, fighting, and crying. It was too noisy. The poor farmer wanted quiet. He went to the wise man. Wise man, wise man, he said. My house is full of people. It's too noisy. Tell me what to do. The wise man closed his eyes. He thought and thought. Here is what to do, he said. Bring your rooster and your chickens into the house. That is a funny thing to do, thought the farmer. But he did what the wise man told him. He got his rooster and his chickens, he put them in the house. That night, there was a lot of yelling, singing, snoring, laughing, fighting, and crying. And now there was a lot of clucking and crowing, too. It was much, too noisy. The next day the farmer went back to the wise man. I put the rooster and the chickens in the house, he said, but it is worse than ever. Then you must put your pigs and your sheep in the house, said the wise man. That is a very funny thing to do, thought the farmer. But he did what the wise man said. That night there was yelling and singing, snoring and laughing, fighting and crying, clucking and crowing. And now there was oinking and buying too. It was even worse than before. The farmer went back to the wise man. Noise, 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 he said. I cannot stand it anymore. The wise man said, now, Put your donkey and your cow in the house. Is the wise man crazy? thought the farmer. But he did what the wise man said. He put his donkey and cow in the house. Now, there was yelling and singing snoring and laughing, fighting and crying, clucking and crowing, oinking and buying, and braying and mooing. It was so noisy, the poor farmer did not sleep all night. The farmer went back to the wise man one last time. Wise man, wise man, 
My house is like a barn, he cried. I cannot stand it. The wise man smiled. Here is what to do, he said. Take all the animals out of the house. The farmer ran home. He did just what the wise man said. He put out the chickens. He put out the rooster. He put out the pigs. He put out the sheep and the donkey and the cow. Was the little house still noisy? Well, there was still yelling and singing. There was still snoring and laughing. There was even some fighting and crying. But there was no clucking, no crowing, no oinking, no buying, and, thank heaven, there was no mooing or braying either. And to the farmer, that little house seemed as quiet as quiet can be. And